Discord. It's on Discord, but yeah. I sent you on Discord. But the band itself technically know when you play is it. is a hype metal band technically. So you know they go for groove, they go for new, they kind of go for your metal core. So it's something you'll probably like. It's something that everybody else might enjoy if they're like a big fucking metal head out in the states. You know, Bro, just like, trying to get them spread out. Uh, I guess. No. Huh? You're playing it now. Playing it right now. All right. Yeah. I this is 1997. That they're talking about. I did. I did listen to music like this growing up, so it don't bother me. It's not bad though. Like I, yeah, I had, I had so, I had something like this in my one of my old montages. Remember that shit, bro? Yeah, that, it's because of that metal band. Yeah, that, that you were trying to get promote, music from. Yeah, I was promoting. There's them. another band you use music from, probably. Get in contact with. Well, I was the promoter right here on the fucking podcast. <laughs> like I'm sure you can get in contact with yeah. them and be like, hey, you know, my one of my boys want to use that one of your songs in a montage or something like that. But yeah, uh, fuck, dude. Um, so how is your music thing going? I know, well, well, we talked about it before. So yeah. Again now. Well, I'm currently working with the guitars from that same band I just mentioned to y'all, and we're working on actually getting an album in production soon. I did write the last few bit of the songs to make a long play, which is more than 30 minutes. Um, recording has been kind of an issue because our guy who mainly does volume checking and stuff, we have to wave around because he's currently into a different house. But we should probably have it resolved somewhere between July and August. Talk about the sound yeah. engineer or whatever. What that guy? Sound engineer. Yep. Oh. I think I what our resolve is going to do is I'm going to record at his house, That's what maybe. Wants to do, by the way. I hope you know that. That's one of the things I want to do, but I don't know. Yeah. It might, it might like, things might change, so I don't know. Things I'll wait. just to warn you right now, please be careful about reverb. Reverb is such a <laughs> motherfucker. I mean, I play with reverb on my uh, guitar, so I know when to use it and not use it. Well... Not really just that, but I mean reverb within a studio or anything like, like that. Like turn it up and down, the reverb and shit like that. Yeah, and you know, having to worry about it when it echoes throughout a house or something like that, you know. Yeah. And learning how to use condensers, such and such and such. Mm. Bro, the but, one thing... Uh, go ahead, sorry. But, um... This band, uh, Project Ascension, the one I'm currently promoting, they're basically promoting about... It's a concept album, but it's about the lead vocalist Paul Grand Prix's uh, fucking life experiences, and he's talking about that mainly. And the guy who I'm friends with, uh, Jonathan Broussard, he's a guy on there literally doing the screaming in that entire yeah. song. And funny thing is, I taught him. I taught mm. him a little bit of stuff. So, you know... <laughs> So y'all, do y'all do like, do y'all do like uh, live shows or anything like that, or in your area, or what? They have done live shows in their area. Hell, the last concert that was done was literally the Southport Hall one down by um, Southport Hall. Literally, that was the last one they did, and that was basically off of Magazine Street. Yeah. And it was not too much of a big show because you know they're just starting off it's a local band you're not gonna expect that many people but there was at least 40 to 50 people who did show up now granted they have gained a little bit of notoriety with some bands in the local area yeah so they're getting out there it's just taking time because yeah. everybody that um is in the band except for me because i'm in school right now but um they all have like a full-time job mm -hmm. so it's a bit yeah it's a bit hard to do that kind of thing though when you have a job and trying to do a band kind of thing i know right. uh, that's how most bands start out they just don't yeah start when it happens kid, you know? right and it's just kind of like you know oh well they're gonna try and make a middle ground at least so they try to do this and that and you know it's gonna know. take some time. They're probably their EP is going to be named "The Cured," so that's a concept on another level that I probably don't understand so far. I understand at least this song 
is probably just about how everything is just delegated, and then how corporations are messing everybody up and shit. Hey, that's what we're talking about anyways. <laughs> Beginning of the podcast. Yeah, the song makes sense now. <laughs> it all correlates now, bro. Holy shit. Yeah. It all, it all yeah. Really this podcast was dedicated to this song <laughs> all along, and it was never fucking planned. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it like that, but I mean, these guys are definitely a real fucking deal. And, you know, the content that they all make up is probably on the spot while they're recording or whenever they get an idea to catch on to. That's how a lot of that's how a lot of people do it nowadays. That's how they'll, a lot of bands write their music. Like Beartooth, they just they meet up, they'll just write songs at while they're like eating food or something like that. Oh fuck! Speaking of Beartooth, they got to play so far. I think with um, I think they got to play with either Cannibal Corpse or Lorna Shore. I'm not sure which one they got to play with. I don't know. Bro, um. What was it? What was the fucking thing? Uh, watch, you're gonna have Jared die and just come up to your fucking show, or come up to their show. <laughs> Jared, <laughs> you know, you know who that is, right? Yes, I know who you're referencing. <laughs> uh. Oh man, I would turn back um, to this song now. But yeah, the I radio. hope you guys definitely enjoyed the song playing in the background. Um, we obviously hope it was loud enough, but it, it should be fine. It was. But, well, for me taught for me if not i'll just i'll just grab it from uh i'll grab the live stream yeah okay. and i need to move my thing i will be back very anyways but uh i was i was but... i was thinking about also if we want to keep on doing this music thing bro how uh a lot of fucking like a lot of these fucking music nowadays bro is just all the fucking same it seems like sometimes well, sometimes it can be the same kind of deviation within it. Yeah, like especially pop music, bro. Like, oh my god, dude! Like every single, it's not like every single song is like the same. Yeah, and it, I think it's kind of silly in a way because then you're just using that repetition, but you don't have any flavor of variation, yeah. and it just kind of dries everything out. But I guess I could talk a little bit of what I've been. With. Um. From the guitars of Project Ascension, we have our side project. We call it Bearing Witness. The point of it is to be the witness of events from all sides and all fronts and seeing how they're... Somebody interrupted me because they oh. literally called me on the phone. So oh. that kind of sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But no, um, the point of this uh, side project that I've been working with and... Um, it's basically an idea about you know seeing every or seeing most events that are kind of current and that's also just repeating and it happens every every generation um we i have a concept album called malicious pleasures that i've been working on it basically means that people remedy the bad scenarios with the bad deeds and it's constant it happens are, are you talking about are you talking about how are you how people like like you're talking about the shit that's going on nowadays like you're talking about shit like that or like what are you talking about i'm talking about the shit that goes on every fucking time uh, okay and it's just a reoccurring element like you know we're talking as you guys mentioned in the podcast corporation shit Mm-hmm. As we mentioned about politic, a little bit of political stuff, shit like that, to, to basically censor a lot of things, media stuff, it right. all just repeats. Right. So, but uh, yeah, but I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of funny because of uh, it's weird because uh, you speak you're talking about how things you know how things are like kind of doing that same thing. It's like how like if you think of like all the like metal songs like uh like back in the 60s and 70s and shit like that like um what is it uh, war pigs from black sabbath and you know metallica one and stuff like that is all anti-war and then now like and i was mostly conservatives that that wanted war but the liberals don't want war but now it's the vice versa now how liberals want war but now the conservatives want that don't want war shit like that and, well it's yeah like, and- it's like the same shit right like well, it's the same shit, but the thing is, 
I'm not choosing a political view on this. I'm choosing a view of what has occurred on every front and saying this yeah. is just happening. It's not going to stop anytime soon, but that's part of human nature. That's the realism behind it. It's always going to happen. It's it's not going to stop. It, there's no beginning to end point. It basically is a circle. Mm -hmm. It really is, bro. Uh, fuck, I, I, I can't really think of anything on top of my head right now that kind of does the same thing. Or repeats. But, you know, the funny thing is, after I finish writing up this album and doing recording, I'm probably going to be in the midst of working on something else if the guitarist wants to work on a second album. Probably not anytime soon, mind you. That's probably going to be within a year and a half or something like that. But I guess the plan is... We're not just going to alleviate on the sense of, oh, everything's going to be completely bad. We're also going to mention the good. Because then that just gives you that yin-yang balance. Right. And that's something I kind of wanted to talk with him about as well. You, so, you could make your album call like yin and yang or some shit like that. That's what I would do. It. Like, if, uh, if like you have like a... You have like half your albums like all about the bad of like human nature then you have all the good stuff about good human nature um, well it wouldn't make sense to try and blend them into that gray area because you have to see the perspectives completely on separate um fields or you call one yang and the other one yang <laughs> i don't know i don't well, know i'm trying to help <laughs> abs abstractly calling one yang and calling the other one yang yeah. um I still have yet to figure out if I really want to try and do a second concept album anytime soon. Probably don't. It's probably just going to be musically exhausting. Not to mention... Well, I'll take um, a, we'll take, well, I think a lot of artists, what they do is I'm pretty sure they take a break and they'll, they'll get back to it again once they yeah. get their first album done. I think the thing is, we're a side project. I think their fear is like, hey guys, do y'all play in any shows? And we're going to be like, nah, man, we're just making music. <laughs> It's like, it's exciting, but that's a fear. Because then it's just like, well, fuck, there's another commitment. <laughs> yeah. For me, many people in studio have not recommended to record an album no nowadays. But for side projects, it makes a lot of sense, because then you have more content to show. Yeah. Um, I don't know, uh... Do you so you don't have really have a band? It's just you and a guitarist and some kind of sound guy. Is that what it is now? Pretty much. I mean, still, is it mostly like it, software or like what? What is it? Mostly software, except for guitar and bass. Right. And vocals. So, so I guess your guitarist does guitar and bass too, right? Yeah, he does guitar and bass. He learns both pretty well. Bro, I need to do. I need to learn. I need to give me a bass, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be fun to have. Do some fucking slap bass. Bounce, if you can bounce, fucking bounce, do bounce. a Cliff Burton style, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of practice, though, man. Yeah. It just kind of sucks nowadays that it's so difficult to find a drummer. Yeah. Because you see, you see, most days the drummers are literally in either like seven or eight other bands, and it's just like, well, fuck, we don't have an opportunity to even get one because they're already packed up with everything else. I think most of it has to do with fucking. That must have to probably do with software because a lot of bands will sit there and just use software too. So it's kind of rare now, right? Yeah, it is exponentially rare now. Yeah. Because there's like fucking what do they call them? Uh, uh, plugins and shit like that, I think. Of like yeah. drums and stuff like that. Which I've I have lacked to find. I don't know, I couldn't find a damn uh drum kind of thing. Sorry about my mic. Yeah, understandable. But yeah, I haven't I haven't found a drum uh plug in though, because I wanna make I wanna make music too, man. Like on my I know. guitar, but like, shit. I I I, but I will music. say this as somebody who has seen the experience of people recording on drums. Recording drums are the most difficult depending upon your set. If you do not have a right sound system for it, it's just completely weird. Yeah. And some people may not be used to doing actual natural drums. Because nowadays a lot of things are automated. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like that in the future too, probably. Guitars probably won't be a thing either. Or bass. Yeah. It's going to be sad because then it just feels so unnatural. All, all, the, all the real musicians are going to be gone. Even probably yeah, vocals too. I don't know. 
Could be all robots. Uh, should. <laughs> it's gonna be robots. So we are exceeding beyond cyberpunk, but we're talking about human trends. Transhumanism, basically, is what you're mentioning. <laughs> I, I guess I was just I was making a joke. <laughs> oh fuck! I don't want to be assimilated into a machine, dude. It's too fucking fast. I want to be a human with some emotion for fucks.